Hi foodie friends, today we are making bacon ranch chicken pinwheels. This is a no cook, no bake recipe that is great for getting the kids involved with. It is a cool, creamy ranch, excellent for summer lunches. So let's get started. The first step is to get yourself a beverage in case you get parched during the making of this recipe. Ready to start. Second, we're gonna grab our cream cheese. Eight ounces, one brick. Make sure it is softened. We're gonna blend this together and we're doing it by hand, so softened is best for everybody involved. One cup of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. I always like to hand shred my cheddar cheese, any of my cheeses really, the pre-shredded is great for a hack and if you're in like a quick lunch, but it has a starch on it that keeps it from clumping in the back. And for something like this where we're not actually cooking it, not having that anti-caking agent is going to make a world of difference in the finished product. We have dry ranch seasoning. You can make this on your own or just grab one packet. That was about two tablespoons. This is a very forgiving recipe, so don't be worried if you have a little bit more or a little bit less of anything here. So this is one cup of cooked and crumbled bacon. Scallions. If you're not an onion person, don't worry about it. Just leave them out. A really healthy dose of sea salt. And of course the chicken, because these are chicken pinwheels. This is one cup of shredded chicken. I grabbed a rotisserie chicken from the store. Best kitchen hack ever. Rotisserie chickens, pre-cooked, pre-seasoned, ready to go. We only used a cup here. Shred the rest of it, put it in an airtight bag, throw it in the freezer, and save it for buffalo chicken dip or something else, a soup, another day. This is gonna be super thick. So to make it more spreadable, I'm gonna use a splash of milk and a few dashes of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce is one of those really robust, heady ingredients that adds some oomph to any recipe. I love using it in sauces wheels and salad dressings. Okay, We get our arms working here and we're going to mix all of this together really well. We've got this good and mixed. Next comes the tortillas. One of my favorite kitchen hacks, I use these handy dandy can opener thingies. You can also use a wet paper towel or a dish rag. Put it on the counter for your cutting board and it helps it not slip. We have large flour tortillas. You can use spinach, you can use sun-dried tomato, any flavor you want. This is nice and smooth, especially using that milk to make it spreadable. Spread it out almost all the way to the edges, if not to the edges, if you can, in an even layer. You don't want to make it too thick, otherwise it's going to be hard to roll up the tortilla. Start from one edge and roll it up fairly tightly, like so. I'm going to move this over, grab plastic wrap. You can also use aluminum foil. Take out a sheet. The tortillas are typically a little bit longer than the width of the plastic wrap, so make sure you have enough that's long enough for the tortilla. These are 12 inches. And roll it up nicely in the plastic wrap, tucking in the edges. That's one, I'm gonna quickly make two more. We've got these all rolled up. We are going to put them in the fridge for about an hour so that they can set and firm up. Coming in hot or cold. These have set up in the fridge for about an hour. You can make them ahead of time, make them a day ahead of time, and they will be perfectly fine. OK. 
Okay. I like to trim the ends off. They generally don't roll up evenly, so I use those as my little sack while I am cutting the rest of them. Okay, set those to the side. I like to make them about an inch thick and use a serrated knife. If they're set up well in the fridge, they shouldn't collapse, and using a serrated knife is going to help that even further. And then we get these cute little bite-sized pinwheels. Not one bite, maybe two. One of the things I love about these pinwheels is that there are endless variations to what you can put inside of them. If you aren't a big fan of ranch dressing, you can also use a dry Italian dressing or a dry blue cheese dressing mix. Actually, any spice or seasoning blend, Cajun, seafood, whatever. Speaking of seafood, you could also put chopped up baby like salad shrimp in it or crab meat instead of chicken. The possibilities are endless. I'd love to hear what combinations you'd make at home in the comments. Okay. Got these all sliced up. You know I love a little bit of green on my plates. So I am gonna take these and top them off with freshly sliced scallions. Maybe a little bit more. I love that fresh crunch. And there you go. The perfect plate of bacon ranch chicken pinwheels. From my kitchen to yours, have a great day.